Hello everyone, my name is Ajaj Patel and I am from webfhub.blogspot.com. Welcome to the part 20 of e-commerce website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial, we delete our category dynamically. So in this tutorial, we delete our subcategory dynamically. So guys, for do that, just open our function page. Here is our function page open it okay so go down directly create one function so simply we create a function like uh, function then delete sub underscore cat okay now call it bracket open close sorry now we need to find view all subcat function. Yeah, here it is view all subcategory. So here we need to give the link like delete. Okay, we need to create one page. Okay, let's not create one uh, that page. We simply redirect user to cat.php, which is created by previous video uh, in previous tutorial. Delete cat. It's nothing to happen okay here it is our page is here this is cat so we direct uh, user to redirect here and we also give the link like delete sub underscore cat sorry we need to create here get and that get is equal to this one because we don't allow admin to click or to delete all the categories in one click so when user uh, admin click on here then only on this category will be deleted these all are remaining so for do that we need to include here subcategory id so remember this get guys i am going to copy this and simply i am going to down here now here we need to declare one variable delete underscore sub underscore cat equal to dollar underscore get which get which is created by us in this video so we simply write here where uh, this is our get now we need to perform a query like delete sorry delete uh, this is subcat id let's give the name like subcat id okay and this will be delete underscore sub underscore cat okay equal to dollar con collection variable and then prepare statement then inside prepare statement uh, statement we simply say delete from subcat because our table name is subcat but where subcat id equal to this get or this variable which is capture this get into our url so okay that's it now we need to give the if condition here so say if um, dollar subcat is executed then echo let's copy these two from here by control c paste it here by control v okay then change the subcat uh, category to subcategory subcategory okay then also we change this link because we don't need to redirect user from here we need to uh, uh, redirect user from here so we need to capture this link here control c it and paste it from here if you don't understand then watch my previous video then you can better understand what happened uh, what i am doing here so control s now 
we need to open our delete cat page okay now here we need to declare a condition like this one okay so simply copy this it paste it from here change the delete cat to delete subcat because our get name is subcat and also our function name is subcat okay delete subcat so come back to your function here we forget to include a connection file so let's add connection file here control v now let's refresh and check what happened here so when i click on here let's uh, delete computer okay so delete when i click on delete okay look at this now sub category deleted successfully when i click on okay it's redirect me to here and you can also find here oops computer is remaining let's try again delete category deleted successfully okay what happened here delete oh yeah we forget to write a dollar sign here so dollar sign here just because it is the variable we are capturing from here so now refresh it again click on computer then when i click on delete then look at here subcategory deleted successfully when i click on ok then look at this now now computer is deleted okay so uh, here it is look at here here emergency light is two we don't uh, we need only one so we need to click on delete look at here subcategory deleted successfully and also look at here emergency light is uh, deleted now we need to add some uh, add our deleted product uh, subcategory or subcategory is the computer here it is so when i click on add then subcategory added successfully when i click on ok then nothing is uh, appear here just because we need to refresh this page again look at this now now same problem we face in uh, previous tutorial so we need to uh, go to add subcategory page here it is so simply just copy this one from here by control c and we need to paste it from here okay then we need to change this get and copy this one from here by control c and paste it from here by control v okay let's try again to delete computer okay look at this subcategory deleted successfully okay then computer is also successfully deleted now we need to add a computer again when i click on computer and add to subcategory now i am going to okay look at this now computer now we don't need to refresh our page it is coming perfectly computer so guys i think this is enough for today so i give you one advice do practice as much as possible and i think practice make men perfect so do practice your code at your home and if you have any error then contact me i absolutely reply on 24 hour this is my criteria to tell you then it's uh, you can also much work hard because php is easy but when it easy when you are practicing your code and we, uh, you are find the error and you are correct the error then it's easy for you otherwise php is hard for you so guys do practice your uh, code in your home and if you have any question then i'm here contact me i'm going to reply you so this is enough for today guys if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos then and if you have any question then comment below i am replying you to 24 hour in next 20, uh, 24 hour and one more thing guys don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel because it is very benefit for you for latest update of my channel and you can also follow me through my blog webhub.blogspot.com you can also catch me on facebook twitter google plus so catch me on there so this is enough for today guys thanks for watching stay connected with me stay tuned thanks for watching goodbye